Hello and welcome to this week's Warriors HQ coming from Scott Cart in Clydebank. Coming up on this week's show, we've got highlights of our 21-10 victory over Montpellier. We speak to former Warrior Dan Parks who looks ahead to Sunday's game against Bath. And we go go-karting with the squad. Fire in your eyes again. I see fire in your eyes again. I see fire in your eyes again. Fire in your eyes again. I see fire in your eyes again. I see fire in your eyes again. against Montpellier this afternoon. What's your overall feelings towards that game? Um, I think <coughs> there was lots of opportunities for us to get more tries, especially in the first half, I think. Um, but, you know, we didn't manage to get that. It just means that we need to go down next week and get that victory against Bath. And on the game, you must be delighted for DTH scoring the three tries. Yeah, fantastic. You know. I really uh, rate DTH. Uh, real highly, you know, I think he's one of the best wingers in Europe and uh, he showed that today. It's a tough game next week against Bath, do you think the boys can do it? Yeah, absolutely do. As I said, I think they, by the way they went today, created a lot of opportunities. I think they're starting to get a bit of momentum. The disappointment of the 1872 Cup loss, I think, would have, you know, played on them and they came last week with a good win against the Scarlets and they've carried on with a win today. Again, not a great win, but, um, but again, they can certainly build on that and look forward to next week. You must enjoy being back in Glasgow and meeting up with some former friends and former teammates as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's always good to see the guys around the around the pitch. But um, yeah, as I said, it's uh, I very many fond memories here over the years, and uh, yeah, it's always come good to come back to these games. It's, uh, it's a nice pitch out there to play on, and um, hopefully they can get some more wins before the end of the season. This week, the squad took some time out from training ahead of Sunday's game against Bath, and went go karting. <laughs> Absolutely, I think the boys are enjoying it. Uh, a few of the heavy lads are struggling. Henry thinks it's the most competitive thing he's ever done in the world. Um, Tommy Seymour's just permanently angry, but most of the boys are having a good time. Are you going to be able to fit in a car, one of the cars? No, a big Naxi fits. So if Naxi fits, I reckon I'll be able to get in. Uh, I don't think my choice of footwear is maybe right either, but, um, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. All good fun though. Yeah, good fun. It's something, like you say, something a bit different. Uh, Boys were in this morning training, so to be able to come in here and have a bit of fun in the afternoon is good. A massive game now on Sunday down in Bath. Ah, oh, huge game, a huge game. Um, but the good thing about this is it takes your mind, don't take away from it. Come in tomorrow, you're refreshed, and it'll be a, it'll be a massive week for the club. Uh, so this is a good way to start it. 
Well, something a little bit different today. Have you done this before? Yeah, we uh, we did a little bit last year. It's good to get some team bonding and stuff, and everyone's kind of really looking forward to it. So yeah, we've done it before, but everyone's quite excited. How are you enjoying your season this year? You've you've had a bit of game time with the first team. You're also enjoying that? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, there's been plenty of eight games which have been good, and, uh, and to get a couple of spots on the bench has been brilliant as well. I've really enjoyed myself, and I just kind of want it to continue. I want to kick on now. Warriors HQ is available for free every Wednesday evening at 5pm on Glasgow Warriors TV at youtube.com forward slash Glasgow Warriors.